I want to take a few minutes to walk you through our electrical system calculator and the wiring diagram. With the help of these tools, you'll be able to size the components of your electrical system, um, such as the solar array, battery bank, inverter, and so on. Uh, you'll also be able to generate your entire custom part list. You'll be able to use our wiring diagram as a blueprint to assemble everything together and also to size your wire and to count your uh, terminals. Let's get into it. You can access our unique calculator at faroutride.com slash calc. It works on a phone, but it's easier to use on a computer. If you're just getting started, I highly recommend to read our electrical system guide first. You'll find everything to build your knowledge, understand the basics, and understand more advanced concepts as well. But for now, back to our calculator. Start by entering your 12 volt DC loads. You can use autofill basic as a starting point, modify the value as required, then add your own loads. The first column is the name of your load. Second column is the current. And the third column is how many hours per day you'll be using the appliance. The calculator will then output the daily usage for each load and for all your loads combined. Here, I'm going to click on Autofill Far Out Ride to simulate a real world scenario, which is actually the one I'm in right now. Next, input all your 120 volt AC loads. It's the same idea as for the 12 volt DC load, except that you will enter the power in watts in the second column. The last column is used to size the inverter. Check all the loads that you plan on using simultaneously. For example, with this setup, I now need an inverter of 1500 watts. I can uncheck individual loads to tell the calculator I won't be using them at the same time. This way, I can get away with a smaller inverter. Not ideal, but if you must go with a smaller inverter, that's an option. Next, choose your battery type. Then, select what best describes your situation, and the calculator will tweak the amount of solder and battery you need. Snow Chaser option adds a special case for winter because power consumption is quite different. For example, our fridge runs about half the time in winter and we don't really use our Webasto in summer. The calculator will use the case with the most power consumption for its calculations. At last, choose between a small, regular, or heavy duty alternator. Just below, you'll find your daily energy usage. That's your 12 volt and 120 volt loads combined. There you have your recommendation for battery bank, solar panels, and charger alternator and short charger, and inverter. You can override the components by toggling to manual mode. Here, for example, I can change the battery bank and the short charger, and my customized part list will be updated accordingly. Okay, now is the time to get your wiring diagram and open it in Acrobat Reader. Okay, so there's a lot going on right now, and that's a bit overwhelming. There, let me remove most of the stuff. We can always put it back later. So, um, this wiring diagram has some very cool and unique features. First, it automatically sizes your wires in order to minimize the voltage drop. Just enter the length under each wire and watch the gauge update automatically. The diagram also keeps track of all the wires you'll need to build your system per color and per size. It updates as you make changes. And here we have a terminal calculator, which also keeps track of all the terminals you'll need. We'll use both the wire and terminal calculator a bit later to generate our customized parts list. Now, if you remember, um, these were the recommendations from the calculator. Uh, we'll go ahead and build our system per these specs. First, the battery bank. Uh, we assume each battery to be 100 amp hour. So in my case, I need to select two batteries. Um, by the way, uh, we should have named three batteries to three batteries or more. Um, Indeed, if you have three, four, five, or six batteries, um, the rest of the diagram remains the same, so you can select this. So I'll keep configuring my diagram with the 300 watt solar, 60 amp alternator charger, 50 amp short charger, a thousand watt inverter, and I can add a battery monitor as well. Um, we currently have the Simmering Pico in our van, uh, but Victron is the best bang for your bucks. 
at last, you can add your 12 volt loads. Under far out, right, you'll find the loan we use in our own van. Um, we left it there as an example. Click custom to define your own appliances. You can add an image if you'd like, name it, enter the length of the duplex wire you'll use, and enter the fuse size. Repeat that for each of your loads, and you'll eventually end up with something that looks a bit like that. Um, on a side note, this wiring diagram, the one you're looking at, uh, we refer to it as our standard diagram. We also have what we call our high power diagram, which features a 2000 or 3000 Victron inverter charger. Great, now we need a list of all the components to make that electrical system. Go back to the calculator, scroll down a bit, and you'll find a list of your entire customized parts list. You can easily add everything to your Amazon card by clicking this button. Uh, here, make sure all the parts are correct and in stock and click Add to Cart. Um, by the way, we don't have a single Add to Cart button for the entire list. Um, by going section by section, it's easier to review and make sure each component is correct and in stock. Okay, so repeat that for each section until you hit Wires and Terminals. It says nothing to show here. Scroll back up and fill these tables but per your wiring diagram. We're going to use this table here. Transcribe the data from the diagram into the calculator. Then scroll back down and you'll see that the parts list is now populated with the wires and terminal. And that's it. That completes the workflow. Um, Isabelle and I designed this tool right here from this van. I uh, hope it helps and uh, happy build.